Chambago University students are demonstrating over university fee payment policies that include such urge on fines for the late tuition payment. The guild president Chambago University of Fuller Edwin affirms that the strike which has now entered four days will continue till the university management solves their grievances. Of course such urge is a policy that was, uh, 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 that was approved by council years back, uh, I think in 2014. But this is this is something that was done out of, I don't know whether these people at that moment were human. Because if someone has struggled to pay their tuition and they cannot complete to 100% by the sixth week, they continuously hustle to make sure that they raise the balance to 100%, maybe in the 10th week, charging them an extra amount of 50,000. is not That is not appreciating the efforts of our parents. Council approved the policy to introduce a surcharge of 50,000 shillings to students who failed to pay tuition fees beyond eight weeks, the current eight weeks of this semester. This, they did this so that students can be encouraged to pay on time. The disruption of university calendar by COVID-19 forced most public institutions to extend their teaching schedule from two semesters to three. This arrangement affected the release of allowances for government-sponsored students and time frame for fees payment due to limited holiday. What I can say is the problem is with our parents. Most of us, there are a lot of things that we cannot afford to do. as Because if a parent fails to pay in fact, if a parent fails to pay in time, and after paying, after failing to pay in time, for you putting another money, really it's not fair. You find that uh, such charges, it is always imposed on, uh, on, on the side of you b making payment late. Of which you find that your parents at home are even struggling with their tuition, and beside the struggle and then making all the, those payments, you find again they add another charge, 50,000. Semesters of 14 weeks, they are no longer 17 weeks. These are semesters that were reduced from 17 weeks to 14 weeks. But when they reduced the semester duration, they did not reduce the amount of tuition that we pay. We've not demanded them to reduce the, tuition, the amount of tuition that we pay, but we've requested them to consider a waiver since we are operating in abnormal times. Delayed uploading of marks failed by university to clear areas for part-time lecturers is among the issues that students want the university to resolve before they resume their studies. Another issue they were raising was the delayed payment of staff salaries. I don't know why they are concerned about staff salaries. They are just trying to see how to mobilize each other and just cause mayhem. One thing I can say is that there is no way a demotivated lecturer will come to teach us and we understand as students of Chambogo University. Payment for this group has delayed. But what the university has done, what I have encouraged, is decentralization of the management of these, fund, of these funds. The Chambago University Vice Chancellor Professor Eli Katunguka in his response said that students were fully involved before some policies were formulated, but assured students that the money for government students will be released. But we had some money which had not been released on our budget, totaling 1.34 billion. So the PS agreed to release that 1.34 billion to us to be able to pay government sponsored students but these are words we want action we want to see the government sponsored students at least paid their money so that we can have the students study this is how the situation has been like here at chambogo university with the echoes of silence looming these lecture rooms after students and the top management of the university pulling from different directions sada mobale UBC News here at Chambogo University in Kampala.